I'm Howard Morgan. I started Renaissance Technologies with Jim Simons back in 1982. My name is Norman Packard. I'm trained as a theoretical physicist. I was a co-founder in a company called Prediction Company. When you get into AI, you don't often don't really understand what the algorithms are doing. They may game against you. They may see you coming. They're dealing with the numerical indicators without knowing what they mean. And, and that in itself was another breakthrough. We had uh, been approached by a lot of people doing quant funds over the years. What impressed me about the way Richard was thinking about it was this notion of the meta model. He was really thinking about how to harness the people out there in the world who don't use this as a day job, but people who are really good at big data handling, at artificial intelligence, at statistics, and don't have the resources to start a hedge fund. Richard has figured out and was the first one who I've seen who really figured out how to harness all of that. I realized that he had, for the first time ever, created a mechanism to capture the intelligence of the crowd that's on the internet, where anyone can participate, and actually apply that intelligence to the stock market. And it's the first time anyone's ever been able to do it like he did it. In the past decade or so, uh, one of the discoveries in machine learning is the power of combining lots of different models. If you have a bunch of models, you can actually do sort of like a layer of machine learning on top of that where you combine them in a really smart way, right? So if like a guy over here sort of learns something that's useful and a guy over here learns something different that's also useful, like Richard can then go combine them and make it more useful than like either of the two parts. For example, we may find one model is actually terrific at predicting the utility stocks, but terrible at predicting what's going to happen with the other stocks. And someone else may have the bank stocks just right, uh, but terrible on the tech stocks, and a third person might have the tech stocks just right. So we can create a meta model that incorporates the, the, the working parts of each of those sub-models. The idea of crowdsourcing modeling existed before Numeri did, and the idea of using models to predict financial markets also existed before Numeri did. But the idea of putting them together didn't really exist. I talked to others in the space that were trying to harness the power of the crowd uh, for stock market intelligence, but all these other companies, none of them had figured out how to do it. The problem was you can't have a good data set and share it with the world. All of the good data that hedge funds use is deeply proprietary. Normally encryption kind of messes up data to such an extent that you lose all predictive structure after you encrypt something, but Numeri has a very special form of encryption that enables it to actually pass data to the, to the crowd, and that's the big uh, innovation of Numeri. People's biases, which sometimes humans put their biases in about particular stocks or particular sectors of industry, this way they're dealing with a pure set of numbers, numerical indicators, uh, even though some of them may be news, they may be other things than price volume, but they're dealing with the numerical indicators without knowing what they mean. And, and that in itself was another breakthrough. This means that it's just a pure math problem. It's like a math competition. You don't know anything about finance. You don't know anything about hedge funds. You're some grad student in Tokyo who doesn't even, you don't have to speak English. And suddenly you can share your knowledge with Richard Richard can make money in the stock market and pay you. I think it's very arrogant to assume that Wall Street has a monopoly on all the smartest data scientists. And I think that's not true. It allows tons of people from around the world to submit predictions to the fund, and they get paid for doing so. It basically creates the capital structure and the execution structure. It democratizes that access to everyone. In theory, that's an unbeatable hedge fund because the, the number of people that are involved in the hedge fund is just far greater than any other hedge fund out there. So you would expect mathematically that it would do the best out of all of them. I was really intrigued by the use of combining machine learning and crowdsourcing. We have a powerful combination to tap into brilliant minds and, and algorithms around the world. There's no question that Numeri represents for me the convergence and really an unexpected convergence of exponentially growing technologies. The market is very efficient and your prior when you start a hedge fund is that 
it's going to be very difficult. The way to think about efficiency is not really that like it's efficient or not. It's like what is it efficient with respect to? And if you look at these data sets over many years, over 100 years, you can see, oh, okay, the market was, was pretty efficient back then, but actually they were missing something. So now the question is, what's the market not efficient with respect to? And we think that the answer is that it's something to do with AI. And so we're making something that can collect AI. The best hedge funds in the world have 200 or 300 employees. So how well could a hedge fund with 100,000 data scientists do? And uh, you know, that's what we're going to find out.